friends welcome to our channel in this video we'll be discussing about a scenario asked in the technical round of sql interview so i'll be taking you step by step on how to build the query for the given scenario first let us check the data set we have been given a table candidates in this table there are two columns one is candidate id and the second is technical skill so by seeing the data i am able to infer that this is the information for the technical skill that the candidate is having. Now let us see what the scenario is saying. It says, given the table of candidates and their technical skills, your supervisor has asked you to find the candidates best suited for an open data science job. Write a query to find the candidates who are proficient in Python, SQL and Power BI. Sort the output by candidate ID in ascending order. There's a note, there are no duplicates in the candidates table. So basically, the combination of candidate ID and technical skill will not be repeated. The candidate ID can be repeated, but it will be mentioned with a different technical skill every time. So according to this particular scenario, what kind of output will we get? First of all, we need to understand what output should come for the scenario and then only we will proceed to write the solution for this statement. So this is something that I follow and I would request you all to follow the same. First of all, we need to understand the problem statement thoroughly and then only we should begin on working on the solution for the same. Okay, for this particular query or scenario, the output should be something like this. Uh, we have a candidate ID column, right? So we are only expected to give candidate ID in the result. And uh, we are requested to find the candidates who are proficient in Python, SQL, and Power BI. Now, if I just look at the data set, because we have this number of rows while we are uh, discussing this particular scenario, you can see, like, uh, we can visibly check which particular candidate has all of these three skills. Now, if I am seeing in the table, uh, this particular candidate right i am seeing that uh, this candidate has sql power bi and python so all of these skills are mentioned for this particular candidate id i will just take this and this is something that i am expected to see in the output of my scenario so i have written this particular candidate id over here i have understood what kind of output is expected now i can begin on writing the query and we have to make sure that the output, if there are multiple candidates in our result, the output should be or in ascending order, right? It should be sorted in ascending order. Okay. So I have to take the data from one table only. And what I have to do is filter out the data for the candidates who are having the skills that are mentioned in the scenario. So I'm trying to filter out my data using where clause. I'm going to mention the technical skill and using in operator, I'm going to mention all of the skills that were given in the scenario. The three skills that were required by my scenario, I'm going to mention over here. SQL, Power BI and Python. So, I have copy pasted these values to make sure that there is uh, no error while fetching the data. Basically, I don't make any spelling mistakes. And to avoid that, I have copy pasted the exact string that I am trying to find the data, that I am trying to filter the data of. Right? What I'll do is I'll execute this query. Okay. So now we have got the candidates who are having these skills. One thing you have to understand over here is that this is not giving me the result for the candidates who have all these skills. This is giving me the result for the candidates who has any of these skills, right? Not all of them, but any of these. So let's say I have this candidate 432212, right? This candidate has SQL technical skill. And then if I am seeing in the data, this candidate again has Power BI. But now, do they have Python? No, they don't have Python technical skills, right? So basically, 
this in operator it will fetch the data for any of these values that i have mentioned in the brackets so it has got the data for the candidates who are possessing who are having sql or power bi or python now what i want to do is i make sure that the candidate has all of them not any of them but all of them so i have to make sure that the count of the skills of the candidate should be equal to 3 right why 3 i am saying over here because the number of skills that i have been given are 3 and to use the count function i will have to group my data on the basis of candidate id so for grouping the data we use group by clause and i will mention the column that i am using to group the data i want to group the data according to candidate id and then i have to see if this particular candidate id has all of these three skills so for using the count function i have to use the having clause the group by having is generally used with group by only now i am mentioning that the count of technical skills should be equal to 3 so this is what i have mentioned to make sure that the candidate has all of these three skills because currently we are seeing in the data that if the candidate has either one or two or three right or maybe four also they are also fetched but to make sure that the candidate has these these skills exactly we are using the group by hand count function now if i run this query as it is it should give me an error okay great it has done so and oh, i am saying it's great because that is what i already told you why is it giving me an error because i have i have used asterisk over here i have still not mentioned the columns that were to be fetched exactly i am only trying to find the candidate id what group by does is if you are putting any particular column in group by i can only fetch the data of that column in the select query i cannot mention any other column using the asterisk mean that i am trying to fetch candidate id as well as technical skill right but i don't want to fetch technical skill right now and even if i want to do so i can only use it through an aggregate function so this is something that i wanted to tell you about group by basically some kind of information that i wanted to give you to make sure that your concepts are clear for the group by clause and the aggregate functions now if i run this particular query it will not give me an error it is giving me correct result and this is what was expected from us we were trying to find the candidates only who were having all these three skills so this has given me the result according to this query and for my particular scenario that i was trying to solve is this scenario already fulfilled now so the answer is no why because we were also asked to sort the candidates according to the candidate id and in ascending order so to make sure that my data is in correct order i have to put a order by clause and it should be done according to candidate id so order by clause is ascending by default and even if i don't mention any order right now it will fetch the data in ascending order only let me just execute it so it is giving me the correct result and you can explicitly also mention what kind of order you are expected or you are trying to put in your query i have mentioned asp which is the keyword for giving the order in ascending order okay so now we have understood how we were trying to build the query for the scenario that we were given we have used where clause group by clause having clause and the aggregate function to solve this scenario and to make sure that the data is in correct order according to the scenario we have used order by as well i hope you have understood all these concepts that were discussed in the scenario today and if you have any alternate query for this particular scenario do share your solution in the comment section please hit like and subscribe to the channel
Thank you.